Welcome to our channel. Today I am going to explain water vascular system in starfish. So water vascular system is very much important system in echinodermates. So particularly starfish contain water vascular system. It is also called as umbilical system. Umbilical system. Umbilical system. So, manke particular ga, kind of dermates lo just kuna tlaite, umbilical system unta. So, it is also called as water vascular system. So, the use of umbilical system is mainly useful for the locomotion. Locomotion. The same time to maintain fragility. So, locomotion kosam at the same time fragility kosam. Manke kada water vascular system ane di use of the At the same time, Suppose if you see the starfish, so there are two regions, oral region, then aboral region, oral and aboral regions. Oral region contain mouth, then aboral region contain ants. So aboral region. So in aboral region, along with the anus, in starfishes there is one more part that is madri. Porite, madri porite, where water can enter into the body of starfish. So this is the region where it is madri porite. So madri porite is present in the aboral region of the starfish. Suppose man ekda madri porite aboral region lo undi ani kunte. Suppose man starfish ni vadhi skuna man kuna. So ka starfish ei the ondo. The particular starfish ni man ekda choose kuna tlaite. So, so at way kuna di oral region ite ito aboral region an kunte there is a central disc in this area. So this central disc and aboral region contain one madriporite. So this is madriporite. So water can enter into through the madriporite into the body. So starfish ila unna kunno. So ila ante madriporite unna kunno. So ila unna kudo. So the madriporite present in between two arms. So this Two, these two arms are called as bivium, B I V I U M. So two arms ni bivium ga chetta. The arms which contain madriporite. Then remaining three, one, two, three. These three are called as trivium. So two are bivium, then three are trivium. So bivium, trivium ani y arms ni maam consider che isto unta. Let's dive into water vascular system. So five arms ni sea star lo, the starfish five arms ni. Every arm contains some grooves, those are called as umbilical grooves. That's why the system is called as umbilical system. So, first, particularly, we can only study the system and study the system. Suppose, if you use it, the echinoderm starfish contains central disc. So, this is central disc region and also aboral region. Aboral region is done. So, in the aboral region, from the aboral region, there is a tube like structure that is called as madriporite. Madriporite is a sieve like structure. So, called filter plate larger than that. That filter plate is madriporite. So, this madriporite contains some. So, suppose uh, madriporite cross section. So, this is madriporite cross section. This contains number of uh, normally number of uh, so filtering plates. So, these are the sieve plate appearance that is present in the madriporite. Madriporite look topmost area one of these not like that then opening ground so you know not going to opening in it no matter right and water enters enters from the aquatic region or sea region to the normally body local land road not a aquatic region of the water from enters into the matter right then matter right when she automatically there is a tube like structure that is called a stone canal so this is a canal like structure that is stone stone canal so if you see the cross section of stone canal there is a some lamellas are present in the stone canal. Suppose this is a stone canal. This stone canal contains ridges. Then lamella also present in this regions. So lining of cells kani, lamella kani, lante appearance on a stone canal of church. So water enter in the matter for it into stone canal coach in the then stone canal in automatic water enters into the umbilical ring. So the central ring that is called as umbilical ring. Also called as a ring canal. 
from this ring canal there is a arising of four, five different five arms like five canals are there. So five canals are there. One is a lateral canal, some coach, or that is radial canal, some just coach. Radial canal are there. These are the radial canals. So radial canals are there. Only one. These particular regions are there. No radial canals. So C star just now. But there are five radial canals. So these radial canals are there. They are transported. One particular low low radial canal is called ambulacral grooves. So, we will see the water in one arm. So, water enters through the normally from the stone canal to the ambulacral ring. From the ambulacral ring to the radial canal. So, from the radial canal, water enters into the lateral canal. So, this lateral canal contains two branches. It opens into the bulb like structure that is called as two feet. So this lateral canal divided into two branches. One branch enters into the ampulla region of two feet. Another branch enters into the sucker of the two feet. So ila one or twenty particular parts are with you. Those are called as two feet. So bulb like structure is ampulla, and sucker part is present beneath the ampulla. So suppose if you see lateral canals, their length is vary. So some are long, some are short. Some are long, some are short in length. So the every arm contains two to four lateral two to four two feet average. So particular average gila choose ko chamaat. So mano once circulation of water just then water enters from sea water to the mantle pore. From there it enters into the stone canal. From there it enters into the next region that is ambulacral ring. So from ambulacral ring five radial canals are receive the water. So these five radial canals receive water. Then this water enters into the lateral canals. So every lateral canal contains two branches. So they open into the two lateral, two feet. So two branches, one is entering into the ampulla, another one is entering into the sucker region. So these two branches are open like this. All these two feet are contain two branches that are arise from the lateral branches or lateral canals. So okay, this is the water current. Suppose excess water is there. What about what about the excess water means? There are some bodies. Those are called as vesicles. Pollen vesicles are pear-like structures. These pollen vesicles store the water. So temporary guy water storage is it only vesicles? Say with me, oh, pollen vesicles are. Besides, besides that, there is a pair of treatment bodies. So so particular one I could choose not like that. Actually, nine treatment bodies are present in the starfish. But eight are present. So one is replaced by the stone canal. So two, 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 two. Total eight treatment bodies. Treatment is the scientist name. So treatment bodies function. We don't know what is the function of treatment bodies. But they feel that they maintain. They act as a lymphatic glands. Lymphatic glands like panjas and all feel out the tapa. We don't know what is the actual function of this treatment bodies. Suppose if you see the water vascular system, these are the parts. First and foremost, madreporite. From the madreporite, water enters into the stone canal. From the stone canal, water enters into the ambulacral ring. So from the ring canal, all the radial canals receive the water. Those radial canals transmit the water to the lateral canals. Every lateral canal contains two branches. So these two branches transport the water to the ampulla and sucker. So ampulla and sucker like water, every arm, every radial arm transmit the water to the two feet. So two feet and a plural, two foot and a singular. So these two feet contains two branch. One is ampulla region, another one is a sucker region. So these two feet or two foot contains some muscles. So first and foremost, ampulla contains. So I can give them ampulla. Ampulla contains so circular muscles. Ampulla contains circular muscles. At the same time, sucker contains. Longitudinal muscles. Longitudinal muscles. So two types of muscles are present in the two feet. So two feet lo mana mila two types of muscles ne chora chuma. Suppose water vascular system is useful for the locomotion. How it conducts that locomotion means there are some um, pressure points that are present in the arms. So two feet maintain maximum locomotory movement. How it maintains means suppose contractional relaxation of circular muscles and longitudinal muscles. Alternation of contractional relaxation present in the circular muscles and longitudinal muscles. They maintain movement. 
first and foremost one one arm is lift up automatically pressure contract the so ampulla is filled with water that water is it automatically water to fill and put one knee coda they contract first so circular muscles contract automatically water push down to the sucker region so now the lift now the arm is lift up so one direction alan kuna kuda a particular arm anedi lift out undi then automatically ampulla and water transmit into the sucker region yeah. then sucker contains longitudinal muscles so they also contract so motion locomotion is conducted like that so alternational contraction and relaxations relaxations maintains locomotion in the starfishes